Now we are learning more this afternoon about the mass shooting at Michigan State University Monday. Three students were killed and five others remain in critical condition. Erica Mokay has the latest from East Lansing. Michigan State University police gave an update Thursday on the investigation into Monday's mass shooting on campus, including new details about the shooter, 43 year old Anthony McRae. We can confirm that the shooter had two handguns on his person when he was located. And we have learned that they were purchased legally by the shooter, but they were not registered. You're under arrest. Newly released police body cam video shows McRae's previous arrest on a gun charge in 2019. For that case, that weapon is still in Lansing Police Department custody. As students retrieve items they left behind when they ran for their lives during the attack, many say they're still traumatized. I've just been replaying the events over and over again in my head, hearing the shots. Classes are set to resume next week, but many say they're terrified to return in person. A student-led petition to hold classes online has gathered more than 10,000 signatures, though anyone is able to sign. Each member of our campus will have different needs and our focus is on providing as much flexibility as possible. The shooting killed three students and injured a handful of others, including junior Guadalupe Wapia Perez. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2020. A family statement on a GoFundMe page says the process for a full recovery will take months. Erica Moke, CBS News, East Lansing, Michigan.